Hey, do you one nil defeat on the road to Grantham Town this afternoon? Your assessment of the game, please. Um, you can see from the pitch, mate, that um, it was never going to be a pretty game of football. I think the ball never spent a great deal of time on the grass. I think the ball spent most of the time in the air, which suited them with um, the big lad up front, Smith, um, with him being able to flick it on and, and quick runners in behind. Um, first off, we competed, you know, it was nil nil. Um, and again, our Achilles heel, we concede within five minutes of the, second, you know, of, of the restart in the second half. And we say it all the time. We, we, we all talk about it. We all know about switching on. Um, we all say we're, we're, we're going to do it and get to 20 minutes and then you know, the game, game will change, open up, we'll get the opportunities. But it doesn't because we always concede. And that's, uh, you know, that's probably a true reflection. They're, they're no better than us. Um, not on that pitch anyway. Um, that's yeah, that's a fair assessment. I think mate. you mentioned going into the, the uh, into the break uh, at nil nil. Were you pleased with uh, how they played in the first half? I really half? was. Yeah, you know, I, I, I thought Griff up front did a real good job for us. You know, holding onto the ball, flicking it on. I, I, I think um, I, I think it, you know we, we did really really well. We competed well. We didn't really look in any danger. I said to the boys at half time, "What's their strengths?" And it was free kicks. If you're giving away cheap freaks, it's going to go into Smith, who's going to head it back across, and that's when we're in trouble. So no, no cheap free kicks, um, no cheap corners, and you know that that was. Apart from that, they weren't really a threat, were they? I thought we we had the better of the first half. Again, you know, we went in, we said much of the same, much of the same, much of the same, and we came we came out and they scored. A bit of a change to sort of uh, the positions of some players. So, uh, Jack Griffin up front today and Matty Dixon in midfield. Just talk us through your thinking behind that. Well, we needed somebody up top who's going who's gonna to hold, get hold of the ball and look after it. You know, hold on to it and, or, and win headers. Um, so, you know, no, no disrespect to Andy. Andy. Andy does really, really well up there, but I preferred Andy in the 10, so I put Jack up there and put Dicko in into the holding midfield. Give us that quality and legs in, in the midfield, which, to be fair, I thought Dicko and Tom played absolutely superb. I thought they were incredible today. Um, you know, so apart from that one lapse of concentration, the game was nil, it had nil, nil written all over it. It was probably the worst game of football I've ever seen. But there you go. You then subbed uh, Griff off in the second half. What was the what was the reason behind that? Just legs tiredness. I mean, he'd done a good shift. He'd done um, 75 minutes. It was time. It was time to try something else. Put Andy up front. Get Jake in the ten. Try and get Ali and George to run off. Uh, run off. Andy, so that we're getting in behind, trying trying to understand, um, you know, to understand that don't keep kicking the balls down to the centre halves. They'll win the headers. We've got to go down the sides, get the full, get our two wide players to come inside the fullbacks, not keep hanging outside. You know, to make the fullbacks narrow in, uh, gives the width to your, to your, to our fullbacks. Um, that's what we tried to do, but you know. Uh, under you, the away form seems to have been uh, really good before this week. Uh, we'd only lost once on the road to Osset, but two defeats on the road this week. That must be frustrating, particularly because maybe a point in either of them games would have uh, confirmed our safety. We miss Denny. We miss Lewis Dennison. I, don't, uh, uh, you know, I said it before we started this game. We, miss, we don't realise how much Lewis Dennison brings to this team. You know, So when he was injured after the Cleethorpes game, we struggled. Then he gets married and goes on and goes on honeymoon. No fault of his own, you know. But we struggle, you know. When Denny, when Denny, we haven't got an out and out number nine. We struggle, um, and we have done, you know. Whether it's our away form or our home form, without um, Denny, we've struggled, and I, you know that's, you know, that, that's where I would put um, our form is, is is solely down not to having a, a, a stable centre forward. What do you think the answer to that is then next week, not having Denny still for the last game of the season? Is that playing Griff as a nine, Andy as a nine, mate, or what? I need to get the... over this game. I need to get over this game. I haven't even thought about next week yet, but we need to get over this game first. Um, I need to have a think. I need to, 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 to look at all the pros and the cons and see, see you know, let, let me sort of digest what's happened today before I go even yeah. thinking about next week. Um, and I, I'll be honest with you, I normally don't think to, uh, until after Thursday when, when we've trained and we see what we've got and you know, and then, then I'll s spend Friday messing around looking at formations and players to go in those formations. So it's always, it's always difficult to go now. I, I, could, I couldn't tell you, I, I, I can't tell you what's going to happen tomorrow, never mind what's going to happen next Saturday. Regardless of uh, who plays and what formation it is though, it's important that we end the season on a high.
mate, it, uh, yeah, it, 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 every game's important, and you know, and the boys know that. But it, it's we, we will be where we will be, and that's you know, it's not down to lack of desire, it's not down to lack of effort, it's not down to um, you know lack of ability. It's just we will be where we'll be, and sometimes we don't get the rub of the you know. I mean, I, I'll be honest, the Greg Smith, it, 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 he's about. You know, 20 stone and six foot something. Yet he goes down when Ali touches him, which is, you know, and we've got to learn and be more, be more game smart. You know. uh, Eddie, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, mate. Cheers.